Ayan. <laughs> If you're new here, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, turn on that post notification button so you can be notified when I post the next video. And for the ones that are returning, what's up? As y'all can see by the title, I'm doing a what's on my iPhone. I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Yeah. So yeah, I have it in silver. I'm gonna let y'all see it. It's real cute. It's giving iPhone 4, but more luxury. So yeah, this is the phone. Before we get into what's on my iPhone, I wanna show y'all some of the accessories that I got with my phone, what I bought for my phone. So I got this case. I love this brand from TJ Maxx. It's the Serena brand. It's like really like soft silicone. I love those type of cases. All my cases are like that. So I got, I got this case in a nude color. I love it. And I also have it in like a blue color. And so it's just like the soft stuff in the the silicone is real soft. I love these type of cases. So the next one, this is what I ordered from Amazon. Another case like this. So this is basically the same thing, just in purple. The last one, there you go. So the last uh, phone that I had was the 11. I had the 11 in the green color and I had this color case on it. And this is my, pepper was my favorite color. So I had to get this case again because I got this brown case. I'm really loving it. So it's just brown with a black heart. I got this off Amazon too. I got some screen protectors to go on the front of my phone. It came with like multiple in there. And I also got a camera protector just because like if y'all seen on the iPhone 13, the camera's kind of bulge out. So I got a, I don't know if y'all can tell. You probably can't tell, but I got a camera screen protector. This is what it looks like. I got this off Amazon too. It also came in the pack with the Screen tips for the phone. Now let's get into what's in my iPhone. All right, so when you first unlock my phone, ignore that, let's clear that. I have a um, Brent Fires. This is one of his Instagram pictures or something. I just like the logo, the new logo, so I got that as my lock screen. Okay. So as y'all can see, I don't have none of the cute girly aesthetic pleasing <laughs> aesthetically pleasing widgets because I don't have time for that I don't have time to be doing all that so I have the widgets that come with the phone so the widgets that I have on this first page this is the page that you, um when you open the phone this is it is the calendar widget and the batteries the battery widget just let me know what percent my phone on what percent my um what's this what percent my what percent my watch is on and like my AirPods and stuff. So I like that and it's really hard to tell what percent your um, AirPods on. It's really iffy so I'd like to see it right there in front of my face when I open them or when I put them on. Alright, at the bottom you have like the basic stuff that already comes with the iPhone clock, weather, notes. I put a lot of stuff in my notes. Um, like YouTube content or just stuff that I'm thinking about maps settings and then in this folder the same stuff news reminder wallet tv app store itunes health and home i don't even know what half of this stuff is used for i don't use it so it's in that folder and i got facetime and then on the bottom on the little dock i have phone safari and mail and then apple music y'all okay so i'm not sure i don't know if you can i'm not sure how to look up somebody on apple music but Y'all, my playlist, my favorite playlist on this is Clouded. So I got all stuff like Brent Fias, Holly Creator, Billie Eilish, Pink Panther, Steve Lacey, The Internet, Odd Future. Just a, that type of vibe of music. And this is my favorite one. I listen to it all the time. Got some Drake on that, some Gideon, Cleo Soul. 
Kelly. I don't know how to say her last name. Um, but yeah, if y'all want to listen to my playlist, my name on Apple Music is I want to say it's yeah, Brie Lachelle. So these are my playlists, and y'all can see what I'm listening to. So go ahead and I don't know, follow me. I guess that's what you do. All right, so the next page, the only widget I have on this page is um the music one. So it just shows my music and it also shows the weather if you swipe it up. And then at the top, we got the calendar, all the, you know, the stuff. Apple always just put on there just to fill your storage up for no reason because I don't use any of this and you can't delete it. I don't think you can delete it. Compass, tips, voice memos. I don't think I got nothing in voice memos. Nothing. Why they ask me? Okay, contacts, find my and watch. Um, I don't use any of these. Sometimes watch, you can go in there and change the face and stuff if you watch. So I can do that sometimes and also update it. Um, yeah, and then on this one, files, measure, podcast. I put all the stuff that I don't use in a folder because why? Shortcuts and translate. And then in this one, I have clips, numbers, keynote, pages iTunes you I don't know and then I hit my little yeah if you a girl you know what flow is I hit that in one of these ones I don't know why I did that like somebody just be on my phone I don't know but I hit that and then and the next one is education education I have outlook this is like what I use for my school email and then I have my schools um what's this my school app that's the app that they have, and then I have Socrata. Socrata is an app where you basically, <laughs> basically cheat. You take a picture of the stuff. It's like y'all, if y'all ever use like math or something like that in school, it's basically like that, but it's not for like math. You can like take a picture of like sentences and find the blank stuff, stuff like that. So yes, I use that sometimes to help me out. Not saying I'm cheating, but yeah all right and the next one is shopping so and this one i have Klarna. if you know you know if you know you <laughs> okay Klarna. if y'all don't know what Klarna is it's like say for instance you want a wig or something in the wig like 250 and you don't want to spend the whole 250 at that point. Maybe you got another bill or something to pay. Maybe you, or you just don't want to, you know, bank on the week like that. So what Klarna would do is split the payments up into like four payments and you, you will like pay on it like every two weeks. So you're not like emptying your pockets for the week, you know, for your birthday or whatever. So that's what that is. I only used it one time. Well, I only used it on one purchase, but I, I'm definitely going to use it again. And then on um, the next one is Amazon. I use Amazon all the time. That's why I got all that stuff from Amazon. So I don't know. I know some people have like where they can show you what they buy from Amazon, but I don't really know how to do that. So the next one is Pinterest. Everybody uses Pinterest. If you don't know what Pinterest is, then I don't know. So I use Pinterest to find outfits find poses, find hairstyles. You know, pictures just give you a kind of, it leads the way. I don't know what I'm trying to get at with that. But y'all know, Pinterest just help you find anything, so uh, recipes and stuff like that. It, and you also can get like nice little pictures, like aesthetically pleasing pictures, put as your background and stuff like that. I know some people did that, but I can find that I like. So I just use what I have. And then the next one is Sheen. Y'all know about Sheen. And then this one is called YouTube. It's iMovie. So I do edit my videos with iMovie, but I don't use my phone. I use my MacBook for it. And then the next one is YouTube Studio. If you're a small YouTuber or, well, not, if you're a YouTuber, period, you should have YouTube Studio because it, like, tells you when you reach, like, <clears throat> Miles, it tells you when you reach is when you reach milestone and lets you know like how far you are and it lets you know like who's watching your video. It's a lot of stuff with YouTube. It just shows analytics and stuff like that. I like it. It 
keeps me kind of motivated because when you reach certain marks, it congratulates you and tells you to keep pushing and stuff like that. You got PixArt. I use PixArt to edit. I don't really edit my pictures that I take on Instagram. I don't really do all that. But I do edit my um, thumbnails. I use this to edit my thumbnails, like the collages and stuff like that. And then Fonto, I use that to make my thumbnails too and I use it for the fonts on there. And yeah, this is all, all the apps I use for my channel, not too many. And then this one, it kind of like gave itself a name, but healthcare and fitness. So I have my fitness pal. My fitness pal is an app that you kind of use to, if you're into like count calories or on a calorie deficit, you can use this to like track what you eat. So let's look, yep. So I haven't been doing it every day, but I do do it sometimes just to see like how many calories am I gaining? Like am I overeating? So this was February 15th on my birthday. I had a breakfast burrito from Chick-fil-A and it tell me, tells me how many calories if I'm overeating, if I'm not eating too much, I just like it. It lets me know a lot of stuff. And then the next one is my Planet Fitness app and that app just lets me, uh, I could say clock in. It's, get, <laughs> I don't know. It's my key tag for when I go to the gym. And on the bottom, I have Instagram. Y'all not follow me on Instagram then. What are you doing? I just posted uh, an Instagram post. So, definitely go like it. What are y'all doing if y'all not following me? If y'all been here and you watch my channel, you subscribe. And you are not uh, following my Instagram. What are you doing? Get with the program. Alright, so yeah, this is me. Follow my Instagram at Brie Lachelle. Yeah, and then I have Snapchat. I don't really use Snapchat, but y'all can add me if y'all want to. Uh, when I do use Snapchat, I uh, usually do it on my private story, but there's my Snapchat, Double Brie Bands. Don't really use it. Y'all can uh, add me. I don't care. And I got TikTok. I try to post some TikTok sometimes, but my name on there is 3.br33. Add me on there. And then I have Twitter. So basically, all that. Twitter, British Shell, follow me on there if you're not what you're doing. Like I just said. So basically on this little right here, I just have my social music. And y'all know YouTube. Now if you sit here watching this video this far and you have not subscribed, then you crazy because this is like the almost the end of the video. You might as well be subscribed. So yes, subscribe. You're watching the video already, so why not click the button? Okay. So then I have Messenger. Well, I used to have Facebook, but I deleted it because Facebook is a lot. But I still keep messaging just because my boyfriend likes to send me, like, little videos and stuff on there. So, I keep it just for that. And then Google Photos is basically where you back up. I back up all my pictures there in case I run out of storage on my phone. And so, I can delete some of the pictures in my phone, if that makes sense. And then on the finance, I have Cash App. And I have, this is my, the E1 is my bank. And then on the last page, I have Life360 and Music. Music is like an app where, so I was using Music before I had Apple Music and I don't want to delete it because it has all the old songs I used to listen to. So I still keep it just in case I want to reminisce on the songs I used to listen to. So yeah, it's just like, it's basically the same thing as YouTube kind of. It has all the stuff YouTube has, so yeah. And then I have my Chick-fil-A app. And my Zaxby's app. Okay, y'all. That's everything on my phone. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed. And also, make sure that you turn the bell on. So you can be notified when I post a little video. Yes. If y'all had any questions about cases or anything else like that, leave a comment down below. Also, leave a comment down below what video y'all want to see me do next. And yeah, thanks for watching. I will see y'all in the next video.